Hi, and welcome back to Community Hotline. I'm Monica Weitzel here at Metro East Community Media in Gresham, Oregon. Thanks for sticking with us. I know you didn't want to miss this last segment, which is Elders in Action. With me representing Elders in Action is Liz Graves, who is a volunteer. Thanks for being here, Liz. Thank you. And Leslie Foran, the Executive Director. Thanks for being here. Thanks for having us. Yes, I'm delighted to see you in your bright springy colors. <laughs> yes. I like that. It was a beautiful day today. So thanks for joining me. Yes. And Elders in Action is sort of everywhere in the news lately. Every time I, I you know, I'm on your email list and I'm always reading about stuff in the paper. You're really active, active in the community. Tell, tell our viewers a little bit about, um, for those who may be living under a rock and aren't familiar <laughs> with Elders in Action, what exactly your mission is in the community? Sure, we've been around since 1968, and so that's wonderful to hear that you, we have a presence you in do. the community. You do, certainly. Um, our mission is to assure a vibrant community through the active involvement of older adults. And so we work really hard to make our community friendly for all ages and make sure that older adults are engaged in civic engagement through volunteer work, through schools, through their community. And then we also want to help older adults if they need help navigating systems. So we have four main program areas that we help make our community what we call age friendly okay. you know, for all ages. And our first program is our personal advocate program, which is really one-on-one -on -one advocacy that works directly with older adults. Volunteers work with elders who need help navigating. And then we also have our speakers bureau, which we go out and we have volunteers speak to community groups that might need um, information about how to volunteer or want information about how to use our services or want to learn how to better serve the older customer or older okay. adults. Okay. And then we have our commission, which Liz is a part of, which advises our city and county um, mm. elected officials on issues that affect older adults. And then our last program is our age-friendly business program, which Liz is also involved <laughs> in. And that's really working with our business community partners and helping to educate their staff on customer service, mm -hmm. um, hearing loss, vision loss that some older adults may be encountering, and how they can better serve them as a consumer and as a business. That's great, that's great. So Liz, you know, as you know, our, our population is aging and, and mm -hmm. there's a lot more of us boomers that are moving up into the senior segment. Mm -hmm. um, and I know I've, I'm familiar with the business program, you know, helping businesses be right. uh, more friendly to the, to, to the older uh, population. You have, a, um, you have people that go out and actually analyze um, businesses. That's, that's one of the things I do, yeah, and it's just invaluable to do it. And I mean, and the clients love it. Yeah, you're kind of like that secret shopper. <laughs> yes, right. <laughs> yeah. Check, check, check. Yes, no. yes, yes. Or the ones that check the restaurants to, for their cleanliness <laughs> yeah. rating. Yeah. And it's really great. I actually had a knee problem last year and had knee surgery, so I was really looking for elder friendly places uh -huh. when I was, yeah. you know, yeah. because I was like, okay, do they have a chair? How's the light? How's the signage? And you know, business real businesses love it. Oh, sure. It really helps them. They'll say, "Oh, I didn't realize that you can't see where the bathrooms are very well." Right. You know, and so it's a fantastic program. Well, unless it's a business that has no older clientele that gears, you know, strictly working with teenagers or something, right. it would be mm -hmm. foolish not to try to be prepared exactly. for for the older segment. So, um, and and the and working with the um, government and. Uh, what, is it, what, what kinds of things? Is it lobbying that you do, or what is it as far on as? On the commission? Yes. Um, we do some of that. A lot of it, I, I just love the, the commission because we delve into a lot of issues that, that every elder is facing. Mm -hmm. And one of the big ones that we worked on last year was the Senior Property Tax Deferral Program. Mm. It was some legislation that was made, and then some, some issues with that. And we just kind of gave those people who were involved a voice. Good, good. You're a great resource. Absolutely. Yeah. So, um, Leslie, there's an aging, a healthy aging conference that's coming up for boomers. For boomers. Yeah. Now yes. that that's happening on May 18th. It looks like from eight to nine. Right. Tell me a little bit about that. And that is this is the second annual uh, conference that we're having. That Elders in Action is co-hosting with a number of community partners. Um, some big local community partners like AARP will be there, Boomers Plus, Life by Design, some of our key partners who are also working with the Boomer right. population. And it's going to be at the Oregon, uh, the Oriental College of Medicine down right. in Chinatown. And it's really an opportunity to come and 
get education, meet other like-minded folks to learn. And so it's all the topics that are being offered that day are about healthy aging. So we're having one session on um, technology in the home. There's some really cool things happening that people can do to put in, into place to age in their own home, age in place. Right. We'll have a session on, um, someone's coming from the farmer's market, on how to cook nutritious food for one or two. Good. Um, yeah. we're so all, needed. So needed, yeah. yeah. And we're having a session on um, music and the brain. And so someone who uh, works at the jazz festival and blues festival is coming to do a program about how important music is as we age and how our brain waves. Um, so it will be really That's interesting. Too. Yeah, There's some really is. interesting research being done into all of that. Right, of exactly. So it's really about healthy aging. We have a couple other sessions that are happening that day. It's really geared towards um, being participating in your aging, embracing your aging, and taking the best care that you can. So this That's is great. really exciting. We did it last year. We had over 125 participants. Wow. So we moved to a bigger venue this yeah. year so we could have more, more. people come. Um, we have a great keynote speaker who talks about healthy aging in the brain and food in the brain. Um, so we're really excited to be a part of it again. It's a great group that's um, kind of on the planning committee, that's what I'm on, uh -huh. and it's always fun to kind of work and plan and then actually be there the day of. Right. And, yeah, and, and see how it actually yeah. all comes together. Exactly, so um, if anybody is interested, they can go to our website or our Facebook page and we have links there, um, and they can always call our office right. and we can give them, it's an online registration, we do ask that people uh -huh. register. So people can go either who are getting older, I mean I know the older I get the you know, the less old, you know, 50, 60, 70 <laughs> sounds. <laughs> That's not old, what are you talking no, about? No, it's not. <laughs> but um, so people who are going for themselves could, but people who are maybe, um, have older parents, parents. or, or, or mm -hmm. you know, Absolutely. older people in their family, family that they, family members that they would like to help age mm -hmm. better. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. That would be for them too. Yep. Or maybe it's, people that are caregivers and that kind of thing. Right. Yeah. It's yeah. really geared towards it's the Healthy Aging Conference for Boomers, but it's certainly, yes, it's yeah. open to anyone who's yeah. interested in the topics. If there's right. students out there who are studying sure. gerontology, sure. Yeah. that's Which also... Which is a huge field now. Mm -hmm. It's very big. Exactly. Yeah. So, yeah. Good. Okay. Now, you have a lot of stuff going on, and we I want to make sure <laughs> we have time to cover all of it. Um, May 23rd, The Secret to Living a Legacy for Future Generations. Tell yes. me about that. This is another event that Elders in Action is co-sponsoring um, with one of uh, a new organization in town called SAGE, and there it, that stands for the Senior Advocates for Generational Equity. And they're a new group in town. Is that a nonprofit? They're a nonprofit organization. <laughs> Sage. Sage. Yeah. Okay. And I can leave you a flyer. Okay. Um, and they are hosting, they're having um, the CEO and founder of Encore.org, Mark Friedman, come in and from San Francisco area. And he's very well known in Encore Careers. Mm. So finding second, that second, second careers career. Second careers or yeah. whatever, yeah. And finding that purpose work in your second stage right. of life. And so he's coming to Portland to promote his book, The Big Shift, which one of our yeah. staff members, Mark Noonan, is featured I in the Mark. book. Yeah. Oh, really? So, he yeah, does. so oh, that's and, he, great. and it highlights Mark. our Mark's story about how he recareered from high tech and found his way into the work of gerontology and, oh. and volunteer work. And so it's a nice That's event great. to co-sponsor. And then Mark actually helped me when I Which came Mark? to volunteer. Mark, Mark Newton. Newton. <laughs> yeah, when I came for an interview to volunteer, I had been the HR manager for 25 years, lost my job, and he says, well, now it's time for your encore career to <laughs> yeah. do something that you Isn't want. That and so I have a whole new career plus the volunteering, and I love it. Yeah, it's right. kind of what Life by Design Northwest yep. does. And well, they're a partner, yeah, exactly. Yeah, they, so, I mean, it's such a great um, idea and such a, a switch in mindset mm -hmm. from oh, the idea of you work this long, you retire, and then you vegetate. You know, yes, right. or you play golf yeah. for you play the rest golf, of your life. Or, yeah. You know, it's it's not that way anymore because people aren't ready to necessarily yeah, right. retire, or if you're going to retire maybe early and then move on to the second right. phase. Right. You know? And give back. And give yes. back, yes. A lot, There's a lot of really um, a lot. like people are, are taking a, I can what they call them the vacations where you're actually volunteering. Yeah. Right. You know, and, Absolutely. And or, or or doing a work vacation, you know, going somewhere and, and learning about a culture yet 
giving back to that community. And, right. Yeah, it's and great. so we really, we have seen that. The boomers mm -hmm. are demanding right. a different yeah. a different retirement. Right. <laughs> so, um, so this event will be, Mark Friedman will be there and he'll be talking about his book, talking about Encore Careering. Um, Elders in Action is co-sponsoring that and that's on May 23rd at the Oregon Historical Society. So right. it's downtown. And again... Um, 6.30 to 8 p.m. Yeah, yes. exactly. Okay. And we can get information on our website. They do want people to RSVP. And that event is free right. and it is open to the public. And yeah. again, it should be a great evening, really just having um, the leader coming and talking about yeah. Encore Careers. That's so. wonderful. Yeah, get, get the expert in there. Yes. And finally, you have uh, something here about Portland Sunday Parkways, which I know I was talking to you earlier. I, I work on Sundays, and so I, I usually don't get to participate in that, except that I come out in the morning sometimes <laughs> on, on the day when it's in my neighborhood. It's like, all these people are pushing strollers and biking and walking. It's like, oh, this is so it's great. Fun, yes. isn't it so great? tell me about Sunday yes. Parkways. So Sunday Parkways is an event that uh, the Bureau of Transportation puts on in um, the city of Portland and in East County. And they have this year, I think they're going to have five events. And so Elders wow. in Action is partnering with AARP Oregon mm -hmm. just to have a presence of older adults in healthy aging and active aging and so as we know there's a lot of people who like to walk and bike and get mm -hmm. out there so we have a variety of programs the first event actually is in um, May out here in East Counties the first Sunday Parkways and they right. go all through this the summer and so we're looking for folks to help with they call them intersection superheroes and <laughs> so keeping the intersection <laughs> safe for people right, crossing exactly. and that kind of thing. people yeah. to get safe to get engaged really to just to show that um, active aging and it's we're all around older adults yeah. we're all aging and right. so this is a great partnership <laughs> mm -hmm. for us you want to be do. here it's inevitable you're going to do it <laughs> that's <Exactly>. right <laughs> and it's really promoting health and getting yeah. people active and, and, and participating in their own wellness so the, in East County, it's May 12th. I believe so, right. And then, um, and then just you can go to the, the uh, Sunday Parkway, so they have the, uh, a website. Right, with the maps. It. And they're all in different geographic kind of right. locations throughout right. the city. But it is a fun, a fun event. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's one of those things that's great for the family. Take grandma oh, and grandpa yeah, out there, absolutely. mom and dad, the exactly. grand, grand your dog. Everybody. Yes, yeah, your dog, yeah. yeah. A, lot of, exactly. a lot of animals out there, mm -hmm. yeah, it's fun. So. Um, Liz, you've been a volunteer there for how long at Elders in Action? About two years. About two years. Mm -hmm. So what's the best part of it for you? The best part for me would be I, I really, really love to do the age-friendly evaluations. Yeah. yeah. I, that's <laughs> really so nice. Well, it's a great thing. And when, and when somebody, when a business goes through that, you're talking about for the businesses, mm -hmm. correct? Right. They, they get a, like a, a little plaque or a right. sticker to put in the window mm -hmm. or something mm -hmm. saying that Absolutely. they are, they have and passed. Then, <laughs> yes. Right. And then Elders in Action publishes a guide every year that has all the businesses that are mm. elder friendly. Right. And it's so, I mean, people love it. They, We've kind of forgotten that that maybe some seniors can't see well, mm -hmm. and so you have mm -hmm. to make sure the print is correct, and there's so many things to it. Things you never think about, and until you get there yourself and go, oh. Right. <laughs> yes. Ooh, I get exactly. it now. And that's what's good about the, the yeah. certification. And the commission, I love the commission, I love it so much, because we really advocate for seniors, and I'm, I'm a real, go-getter to try to get people more well aware of elder abuse mm -hmm. and so that's mm -hmm. another thing that and also the personal advocates mm -hmm. get calls from people and the about personal that. advocates who needs a personal advocate who would who is a, who is a typical person who would use a personal advocate well we don't have any requirements you don't have to be low income you don't have to be the only requirement that we have is that you're over the age of 60 but it can be anybody who's really having trouble navigating okay. a problem and in so it any can, kind of problem in really any right. kind of problem really so it can be anything from you're having a consumer you know fraud issue or you're having maybe a more serious elder abuse issue um, or maybe you're just needing help kind of brainstorming and linking to resources that you might be right. in need of. Because there's so many resources there here, are. but people don't know about they them. They don't. Right. They don't. It's hard to, sometimes it's hard to figure out where to begin. Right. right. And living in East mm -hmm. County, mm -hmm. like I live in Troutdale, and it just mm -hmm. I just know there's just a lot of programs that, that people out are not aware of, That's where they right. might mm -hmm. be if they live downtown Portland. So if they if they are... 60 or over, they can call Elders oh, in Action. You can, mm -hmm. if, you can either help them or you can refer them to the right, right. place. Right, exactly. Good. Right. Good. Anything else you want to leave us with before we close for the night? 
Well, we're always looking for more volunteers, mm. anybody who's interested in volunteering, not only just with Elders <coughs> in Action, but there's a lot of great organizations in town that are always looking for the talent and wisdom of older adults. And so if we can help link people to getting engaged, that's part of fulfilling our mission of um, assuring a vibrant community. Right. Right, because there is life after <laughs> yes. 55, 60, everything else. Yes, and sometimes it's, it's, sometimes it's even better. Yes, yeah. I think so. <laughs> I, I know so. Okay. Good, good. <laughs> Thank you, Liz and Leslie, so much for, for being here tonight. I and thanks for watching uh, Community Hotline tonight. I hope you've learned something from Elders in Action, the awesome uh, things that they have to offer. The, the elders, the senior community here, and for everybody else. So, you know, we're all going to get there. So check them out on their website. You can check out their Healthy Aging Conference for Boomers, The Secret to Living a Legacy for Future Generations, Mark Friedman on um, May 23rd, and check out Portland Sunday Parkways. I'm Monica Weitzel. Thanks for watching Community Hotline tonight. I hope I see you next week.